Hi, this is Ryan with Dan Foss Power Solutions. In this video we are going to look at the widget library. A widget is an element of a graphical user interface that displays information or provides a specific way for a user to interact with an operating system or an application. Dan Foss Power Solutions has previously released our DM430 display with the option of having it configured with an Engine Information Center application, which is used with the Tier 4 and Stage 5 engines. Dan Foss put together a complex set of multi-layer widgets pre-configured into the EIC application and users simply select which widgets or gauges they want on the screen and assign signals to each gauge. This makes for fast and easy display setup. In guide version 11.16, Dan Foss took the complex multi-layer gauges from the EIC and created a library of pre-built widgets for developers to use with any of our displays that are developed in the screen editor formerly known as the vector-based screen editor. Currently available displays that are developed in the screen editor are the DM430, the DM1000 and DM1200, the DP700 and the DP570. The best place to get the widget library is from the Update Center, which is installed with Guide. The Update Center can usually be found in your hidden icons. Since the widget library is a new library, it should show up in your downloads available section automatically. If it doesn't, navigate to the subscription editor in the upper right corner of the update center and check the box under content, library, widget library. And then click install. Once installed, the widget library will show up in Guide under the Function tab. Although in the Work Area view, all the widgets will look grayed out. Don't worry, this is because the widgets can only be used in the Screen Editor. The widget library is included with a professional license and does not require any add-on licenses. I have a guide project already started with a DM430. Before you get started, you may need to add a PLU to add the global colors. Let's look at the screen definition and take a closer look at the widget library. Once in the screen editor, we can click on external libraries on the right and expand the widget library. Now we can see the widgets are not grayed out. The widget library has 12 widgets, a text gauge, four linear gauges, three large dial gauges, a small dial gauge, a scroll bar, a page indicator, and a keyboard. Clicking and dragging on one of the widgets brings it into the screen editor. I dragged in the large dial gauge. After releasing the drag, the configure object interface window opens up. Here we can give our object a name and set our constant values, or assign a target signal from our application. Be sure your target signal type coincides with the data type of the source signal. You can reference the manual for a description of each signal. The widget insertion point, insert X and insert Y, can be seen in the inspector panel. The color theme is 0 for light and 1 for dark. This is for day and night modes. For colors, I'm going to select a red needle and color everything else black. When completed, we can see a preview of our gauge in the display port. All the gauge types have similar signal options, though here are some helpful hints. For example, on the major divisor, a constant of 1 equals 1 divider, and this is true up to a constant of 5. But when a divisor of 6 is chosen, 6 is represented by 9 dividers, and 7 is 14 dividers. This divides the gauge into 10 and 15 sections. On the page indicator, the current page signal starts at index 0, although the number indicators and number pages start at index 1. So for my first screen, my current page is 0, my number indicators and number pages will be 4 since I have 4 total screens. For my fourth screen, my current page will be 3, and my number indicators and number pages will be 4 again. For touch screens, there is also a keypad. This can be used to enter or assign values in the display. In this example, I have used the output value of the keypad for the input value to a gauge. The widget library makes it fast and easy to create displays. Here are some more examples including day and night modes. Having a library now makes it easier for Dan Foss to release more widgets in the future.
We hope you find this video useful. Remember that Plus One Community Help is available on the Plus One User Forum. Also check out our other videos on our YouTube channel and you can always contact the Plus One Help Desk with questions. Thank you for your attention.